ça améliorera la, la lisibilité. Trois sous-niveaux, puis quand tu veux créer une tâche, forcément. From Magic 2, we, we've established a, a set of blueprints, if you, if you will, for um, enabling nations to implement a capability. Uh, what's really going to be required is some, some strong leadership from, from NATO and amongst the contributing uh, Magic nations to promote the uh, development and integration, adoption of these common standards, processes, and work with the nations to actually implement these tools and suites. I think Magic sets uh, standards of how a project can be successfully managed, how clear objectives at the start can end in nice operational capabilities in the end. There's nothing else in NATO like this, and nobody has anything else to suggest, like techniques, um, architectures, etc. So the best we have so far is what was developed by Magic. So we want to make sure that this gets um, settled and captured in documents and standards so they can be reused by people afterwards. And the next time there's an international operation, then if people want to do streaming together, well there's one way that's been standardized and we could do streaming together, and that's the way Magic 2 um, has developed. Sure. rest worked out uh, really well, uh, so it's one of the best day for us. A lot of the stuff that's coming out of this project is impacting operations and ongoing operations. And so there's been a strong appetite uh, to get some of the stuff that we're developing out into the field in operations. Using the magic environment to develop capabilities has been invaluable for NATO. Uh, for the nations, it helps them move forward, it brings their internal industries together. What it does for us in NATO is it allows us to bring different nations together with their government requirements, with their industry developers, put them all in the same room and help define what NATO needs to do in the future. It has impacted quite a lot. It's shown what's within the art of the possible. And it also has given us a raft of documentation that documents exactly how to do it so that we can actually pick up this information and carry it forward. So I think it's going to be very useful. The key factor, of course, are the people who are behind Magic 2. And uh, I think it's dedication and passion uh, of, of all uh, the persons who worked on this project, being it from nations, from NATO, from the different companies. Magic is kind of the clue for, for the national systems and the NATO systems to make it work in the complete process. Therefore you need a standard body, yeah, probably NATO or within the nine nations, to continue the work on those standards. So some good results with ICC, ICC and, and the CSDs can talk to each other very well. We often say that Magic it was smart defense before smart defense was initiated. So it was nine nations coming together, trying to resolve an issue. The issue was interoperability of these kinds of capabilities. So it's funded by the nations. It meets national goals. And it does that in such a way that it also meets NATO goals. It was probably one of the more successful smart defense initiatives inside of NATO. So behind this concept, it's